Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where these are the sectors that I managed to get converting over to Hive Worlds with the resources that we had on hand. Now, I didn't go through and evaluate every single planet in terms of jobs to housing ratio and amenities and what it's outputting. I didn't do that because when we change the Hive, the hive World, that's going to change how effective the Hive Districts are. So that's going to change that whole calculus, so we'll have to go back and do that anyway. So there's no real point in doing it right now. And so I haven't done it right now. To that end, though, we have gotten Dablox terraforming here, as well as Darkitch, and that's it. So we're just going to proceed from here. And we've got a ways to go, but a lot of those are refinery sta- or not just refinery stations, but stations or ring worlds in some way. But we've got a ways to go yet. You can see all of our terraforming down here. We're definitely working pretty hard on that, now that uh, you've reminded me that that's a thing. I can't believe I forgot it, but it, I just- I completely spaced that hive worlds were a thing. Oh hey, we're losing minerals again. I think that's because our trades didn't go through, though? At least not in full. So I think, yeah, our trades definitely didn't go through because we're making 15k. So next month tick, our trades will go through, and we should be good to go. And we'll evaluate our consumer goods and food at that point. So let's see how that pans out here. Yeah, that's much better there. Excellent. So we're currently at 30k. I think that means that we should try to stay above 30k. Just to make sure that those keep coming through. Hello, minerals from jobs. Yes, I will grab you. 5% additional minerals? Yes, please. Our tech cost has dropped down to plus 400% because our Empire Sprawl is catching up, so that is ideal. Also, why are you so far ahead on your terraforming? I have no idea. Regardless, that's a lot of terraforming that we've got going on there. I mean, if we don't care about taking a month tick every now and then where we're not making minerals, then it would be completely fine, actually, to, uh... Hmm, there's a rare crystal over here that we're not getting. Let's go grab that. We're gonna have to jump drive in and out. We, we also need to get over here. It's gonna take some time, for sure. But I guess that's okay. New Gateway in Ajacapis. Fantastic. I'll allow it. So this over here is working on a few things. I think we need a missile battery and hangar bay. And then we're going to be needing a communications jammer. Fantastic. And I do kind of want to be withholding alloys at this point and letting the price rise up in the market because I don't want them to be too ready readily available if these guys over here declare war on us, which they could theoretically do, but they're kind of unlikely to do, I think, right now. I think they're okay with just leaving us be as long as we leave them be because it's not been going well for them when they've been declaring on us. And we've just gotten stronger since then. This colony is about to finish up. A little bit under a month. Okay. We'll need to put a spawning pool on there. And so we shall. Still a few more days on that. I'm just kind of waiting for it at this point. And we're banking up our energy credits a little bit, but uh, we should probably spend those quite soon. There we go. That colony is good to go. 
So we will build that spawning pool as soon as the month tick allows. Hmm. This already had a lot of structures on it. We will replace this hive warren with a spawning pool. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. So we do need to start some more terraforming projects. We'll start one here. And we'll start one here. Excellent. Everything else in this sector is a station. So we will start one here as well as one here. Did that not go? Okay, it just took a little bit to show up. I gotcha. Looks like it did in fact go though. And I'm gonna go through and make sure that all of these damaged structures are repaired off camera. I'm just not going to take the time to do that immediately. Once they start, uh, Essentially, every time a hive world finishes up, I'm going to re-evaluate that world. It's the way it's going to work. This ring world over here, though, it definitely could use... Both of these could use waste reprocessing centers. I really think it's too powerful to not have research ring worlds. I really, really do. So that's the entire Mugdul sector that is currently terraforming. So we'll make this one into a hive world. We're currently a little low on energy credits, so, so we're probably going to have to wait a month tick or two before we get a couple more going. Of course, there's only three in this location, but I definitely want to wait one more month tick, as apparently my uh, microphone is peaking again. Let me see if I can do something about that. Let's see here. Maybe that'll do the trick. Although, that didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. There we go. Maybe that'll do the trick. Excellent. I still wish you could shift right click these to dismiss all of that type. Although we did just finish energy weapon attack speed and we are definitely grabbing energy credits from jobs considering we need a ridiculous number of energy credits to get all this done. Come on, month tick. There you go. Okay, this colony here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to replace this synaptic cluster with spawning pools. Fantastic. And now we'll go ahead and put in a hive world. And we'll put one in over here too. We may miss a month tick in trades for our minerals, but I think we'll, we'll be okay on that front. Yeah, we are going to miss a month tick for that. But that is the black sector. Finish terraforming. Fantastic. Only a million to go. It'd be super nice if we could... Uh, get our Empire Sprawl up a little bit. Of course, the only thing that that really is affecting us is technology cost. The other things aren't relevant at this point. And our technology cost is coming down. Pretty rapidly, actually, which is great to see. As our colonies actually fill in our Empire Sprawl is getting closer to the cap. It's a foundry station, and we should probably go ahead and put in an alloy foundry here. Same thing here. There we go. Now let's get Nish queued up. No, not in Ocean World. Not in Ocean World. Cancel that. Hive World. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to misclick that. In fact, maybe we should check to make sure that all of these are hive worlds. Yet they look all the same to me. Then again, I'm colorblind, so maybe it won't uh, be th actually the same, but it looked all the same. 
I really want to queue this up. But I also don't really want to miss this month tick in trades. So after this month tick, we queue it. Research complete. Fantastic. Okay, admin cap just came up. Let's bring up the admin cap again. That dropped our tech cost by what, like 2%? Something like that? It's not a ton, but it's some. Which is always nice. We are getting techs roughly every two years right now, which is a little on the slow side. The Synthoid Link is still considered equivalent to us, even though we've had this going on. Synthoid Link declared war on... someone. We don't know who. And with the month take going on, we're never gonna know. Ah. Rebels. These guys. Apparently their empire doesn't really exist, but, uh... <laughs> okay, that's gonna be awkward. Synthoid Link will probably crush them, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and dump alloys again, I think. I do realize that we completely tanked the market price, but I also want to continue making these hive worlds, because I really want to take over the galaxy. <laughs> We're kind of just waiting on influence for that, though. That's, that's our main limiting factor right now, because we have to make claims. So that's definitely something that we're waiting on. So we'll turn this into a hive world. This needs a lot of repairs. I'm just going to go ahead and repair these. Technically, this should probably be a forge world. But we'll re-evaluate that after the terraforming. I mean, if our economy is working this well right now when it's this unoptimized, imagine once I get done with it. <laughs> That's going to be ridiculous. But we are absolutely going to need our uh, terraforming to finish up first. The question is, are we going to wait for the terraforming to finish up before we declare war? That is a good question. There is drone population controls here. There should not be. There's only four pops here. We can't terraform that because it's a habitat. Right. Splek is now done, and we are moving on to Nish. Hive World. Stenlar 2. Hive World. And we can repair these while we're at it, I suppose. And yeah, I'm going to be re-evaluating every single one of these as they finish up terraforming. So we're going to optimize these worlds. Uh-huh. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Okay, we can't repair that one. So that means we're done with Nish. Fantastic. This pirate fleet is not going to succeed this attack. I can tell you that right now. Sure, they'll get through the shields. They'll never get through the armor. Well, they're working on that. Blurp pa. Wow, this needs a lot. So we will go ahead and transform this into a hive world as soon as the month tick is done. There we go. And continue drone production for now. Hey, there's that sector done. Ah, good old something pronounceable. So we'll put in a hive world terraform there. We should definitely build a research lab. And terraform that. And we'll terraform this as well. I'll be doing the optimization 
pretty much off camera, I think. That's going to take a while. So, <laughs> I think that's just going to be something that I'm going to do off camera. This is currently a generator station. I'm going to leave these as they are. I'm not too interested in working on those until we've optimized a bit more. I do think that we replace these two agriculture... No, not hive. That we replace these two agriculture districts with mining districts. Then we terraform this to a hive world. Excellent. This here gets terraformed to a hive world. And we're done with the Kregux sector. Fantastic. And yeah, this station is 100% fine. It was never not fine. There we go. So next up is, of course, Beauty, which is a mining world. We'll go ahead and repair some of these and terraform it to a hive world. We're going to have to wait for a bit and let our energy credits rebuild. I mean, we could dump our alloys again, in theory. It is something we could do for sure. How many worlds do we have left to do? That's the question. It's a lot, I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a fair amount. Oh, we've got a frontier sector. We've got a frontier sector. There we go. Let's go ahead and give that a leader. Where are ya? Here you are. So we will recruit in, say, this guy. Sure. Excellent. Okay. So we are currently at 587 influence. We should probably spend some of that. So let's take a look at the Synthoid Link and our claims on them right now. Our primary goal with the next war is to wipe out the Synthoid Link. So, to that end, anything that they have, we want to claim. And they've got territory over here. Interesting. So we'll claim this. And then they also have territory down over this way, of course. And as soon as the month tick happens, we'll claim a little bit more. Come on. Do we see what we don't have claims on in here? No, we don't. Okay. Well, we'll just claim as much of this as our influence will allow, which I believe is that much. Excellent. There's also some some random Synthoid Link areas up over that way, but uh, for right now, there we go. Influence spent. Always good to see. Let's go ahead and crash the price of alloys again. Well, after the month take, anyway. Research. There we go. One crashed price of alloys. Fantastic. We're getting more minerals from jobs now. I think we're going to go ahead and go for this one since it's a nice and quick one. And then we will start doing some more terraforming. I believe we already got beauty. Yes, we did. We did not get sprout, though. And these should definitely be repaired. Those that we can, anyway. And we can build two more districts. Come on, Month Tick. There we go. And we can terraform that over to a hive world. And then for every spring, we can build a mining district here. This should really be designated as a mining world. I've got a resource processing center on here. This is actually not a mining world. This is a forge world. Now we can't repair any of these currently, so we'll just have to get this over to a hive world. Fantastic. 
And that means that that's this sector completely done. Just gotta wait for the month tick to be able to minimize it. That was a long month tick. Excellent. Well, we are definitely making progress here, but I'm just going to continue terraforming these as much as we possibly can. It's a planetary supercomputer and a resource processing center here. I wish that we could build these ourselves, these resource processing centers. That would be amazing, but unfortunately, we cannot. Skipping stations for now. I do want to get as many of these buildings repaired as possible. And we'll just go ahead and continue going to Hive Worlds. Come on. There we go. Excellent. We should be starting to see Hive Worlds finishing up, I think, sometime next episode? In theory. And one thing I'm hoping is that Hive Worlds may also reduce Deviancy. That would be nice if they did. I don't know for sure that they do, but it does say that anyone who is not of the Hive Mind will be actively attacked by the Hive World, so it might kill off Deviant Pops. Which wouldn't necessarily be a good thing, but also not necessarily be a bad thing. Like, it would stop a lot of this damage, anyway. And maybe stop the deviancy before it spreads. Okay, we're down to 39k, so we should probably stop after we are done with... Ooh, a gas extraction well. After we are done with this particular sector. It's a research institute. That's a pretty good thing to have around. We're definitely going to have to reevaluate this world, make this this one more efficient. There's no doubt about that. But even just the 10% boost is going to be huge. Okay, so that's Gish done. And that means that we now need to wait for a few additional energy credits to come in. So we're definitely getting there. We're what, about a third of the way through, I'd say? But there's more stations down over here than there were previously. So that's definitely going to be a thing. Let's just go through. That is a lot of terraforms. <laughs> I love it. Let's just go through our bastions real quick. This one is still considered a shipyard. Because this needs to be a gun battery. There we go. Now these are all anchorages at the bottom. That's good to see. You're upgrading to Citadel, which is fine. Now we're month ticking. Okay. Gun missile hangar. We're going to need a Citadel upgrade for sure. At that location. And over here, we're going to need a disruption field generator. And some of that nonsense. Excellent. You're fully queued up. You're fully queued up. You're fully queued up. What about this 78.1k up here? We'll see. You're fully queued up. Fantastic. As are you. You actually are not. Now you are. You're good. You're good. You're good. This one needs defense platforms and ion cannons. I think we're good on our bastions. Not quite completely done with queuing them up, but we're getting very, very close to being done with that. So that's fantastic. Yep. 
that's looking very good. And let's just go ahead and do a couple more Hive World queuings. So we will get Splek set up for a Hive World, as well as this one here, Ebu Krosi Prime. So that's the Splek Sector. Good to go. Now this is going to be an expensive one. There are some Gaia Worlds here. But we're going to terraform them. <laughs> I don't care about Gaia Worlds. You become a Hive World. You become a Hive World. You become a Hive World. It's a Fortress World right now. We're going to have to address that, for sure. Okay, that one becomes a Hive World, and then we have two more over here. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and dump a few alloys to make it possible to do that. Okay, now we have to wait for the month tick. And the autosave. There we go. And we'll just get all of this repaired. Excellent. So Forge World here is definitely in need of repairs. And a Hive World upgrade. Okay. So there's that sector completed for now. We also just need one here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we are in Magama. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue attempting... If I can scroll over there we go we're going to continue attempting to get all of our worlds upgrading to hive worlds we are pretty close to halfway done i'd say so that won't take too much longer and actually looking at this it's probably going to be episode after next where they start coming in but regardless that's going to be pretty good progress you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes comments subscribes and bell ringings and I will see you all next time.